What's up? It's Ayushi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for those of you who haven't seen my previous vlogs, I am currently in Halifax and it's time we explore this beautiful maritime province of Nova Scotia. So today we are headed towards Bay of Fundy. Now Bay of Fundy has the highest tides in the whole entire world. So let's go. So our first stop for the day is Cape Split but we made a quick stop because we saw this viewing point and the view is incredibly beautiful. The trek starts here. There are two trails to reach the end of the peninsula. So this is Cape Split and we are over here right now. So that's a long trek. Keep all your game. As and lost, as and lost, it's so the same as and lost, as and lost. The trails just splitted behind us. We are taking the Menace Basin trek and we will return from Scott Bay. Behind me is the first lookout point on this trail. There's one more before we reach Cape Split, which is end of this trail. We are just one kilometer away from Cape Split, but I just wanted to show you guys the condition of the trail. This is what we are handling from past one hour and 45 minutes, all this mud. Ew. We are almost, almost there. So I just hope the view is worth it. Oh, wow. I see it guys. We are here finally at Cape Split. This place is literally paradise on earth. Look at the view, it's mesmerizingly beautiful. And that's Bay of Fundy behind me. I was wishing we would spot some whales from here, but I think for that we need to move more deeper towards the ocean. Look at the condition mm. of my legs. <laughs> Tanish enjoying his protein bar. But it's all worth it guys. It's worth every single sweat on that track. Time to go back. But there's a lot we are gonna do, so I'm super excited for that. And now we're taking a different trail, the other one, so we see the whole peninsula. So the total distance we need to cover is 7.3 kilometers, but we have another look off at 1.3 kilometers. Let's go to Big Cove. One hour later. We have completed almost half of this trek. There are a lot of mosquitoes over here. And currently stopped at this viewpoint i am drenched in sweat right now i feel like just diving inside the water although i don't know how to swim but it looks so cool and so warm Thirteen and a half kilometers completed. We ran for most part of this trail because it wasn't muddy. Uh, there were a lot of uphills and downhills. That was the only sad part. But I'm finally here. That's the end of our trek. We were driving towards Annapolis Royal and then randomly saw this blueberry board on the road. And look where we are now. We are at a blueberry farm to pick blueberries. How's it, Danish? It's been fresh. Mmm, mm, super delicious, guys. We have reached Antipolis Royal. I'm standing right in front of Fort Anne. And this city is super pretty. It's really clean and full of history. I'm coming home. This fort might look very small, but this 
was the most fought for piece of land in whole Canada and it was the key battleground for British, French and the natives over here. Look at this. This isn't Bay of Fundy, it's a small basin coming from Bay of Fundy but you can still see the effect of the tides. This whole area and that too was underwater but now it's all out and tomorrow again it will be underwater and this does affect the basin and then the river coming from the basin too. The fishes flow with the water but the soil is still home to a lot of creatures. This is a small basin still there are a lot of crabs and shells on the land right now so I'm super excited to go to the actual bay and see the tides and see what difference do they make. As the sun is setting down the water level has started to increase those rocks were all outside and now they are underwater and even my shoes look at my footprint I was standing right there and the water was still there somewhere there and now it's all inside. We are driving to our hotel now which is located in Smith's Cove. I chose Smith's Cove because it's near all the major locations. Annapolis Royal is like 20 minutes drive and then Digby is around 10 to 15 minutes drive from there. So it's perfect for us. This is our stay for tonight. I'm very tired so I'm just rushing inside. This inn is actually a century old and earlier it was considered as the luxury stay for the rich. But now it's a bread and breakfast owned by a very sweet couple. I've said this before, I really feel like swimming but it's quite dangerous to actually swim in the basin or at Bay of Fundy because of the tides. Luckily we have a swimming pool over here so we are headed to our hotel swimming pool now. So we came out and drove till Digby. I am currently at Digby waterfront. That's the harbour behind me and the view of the moon is spectacular. We came here for dinner but unfortunately most of the places are closed. All the restaurants close around 8 or 9 over here. I checked that before coming so tonight I guess we need to survive with pizza. Digby is famous for a lot of things including fishing, scallops, whale watching tour and we are going to explore all of that tomorrow. For tonight, let's get our pizza and go back to our inn. We started our day at this lovely tanning area at our inn and we spotted some deer, actually a whole family of deer running there. This is incredible. The tides over here can go as high as 54 feet and it's wonderful to see the effect of Bay of Fundy in person. Yesterday when we were swimming in the evening, the water was still that island and now it's so close to our stay. It's like four minutes walk from the inn. We really enjoyed our time at the Harbour View Inn. It's in the laps of nature and we also got to see deer. So that's pretty cool. Now we are driving to Digby. So we are at the same waterfront we came to last night and today there are different stalls organized by the locals. They are selling all different kind of stuff from paintings to scallop pearls to different wines. Casanova wine is really popular over here. So it's a local winery. We took their sparkling apple wine. Let's put it in the car. These jewelry are made with scallop pearls. You can see it right here. And this is you. a shell that it has a cluster yeah. of pearls yeah. over here. So pretty, yeah. right? Digby is known as the scallops capital of the world and all the local fishermen over here, uh, they fish for scallops. You can find it in most of the local restaurants and 5% of those scallops have real scallop pearls which are quite famous and expensive. We are currently parked at the harbour. It's actually the end of the harbour, you can see. So pretty. 
Digby area has an expansive coastline with stunning and ever-changing sceneries. It's also part of Fundy Aquarium Eco Zone. That's the reason it's quite famous for whale watching tours and you can also spot dolphins and seals just over here. If you're visiting Digby, there are two things that you have to try. First, it's scallops. They are world renowned, so why not? You can easily come to Bridge Street and there are a lot of restaurants that sell local scallops. Second one is do a whale watching tour. Now, we won't be doing a tour this time because we did it last year and we saw humpback whales and minke whales, which are again the most common whales that you can see in a tour over here as well. But it's a great thing if you haven't done a whale watching tour in the past or if you have seen different kind of whales. So yeah, it's a fun activity that you can do. We really recommend that. Yep. It's Sunday so all the restaurants are pretty packed but luckily we found a table at the best so we are currently at the Fundy restaurant. I'm about to order scallops and we are sitting on this beautiful patio. Let's try them. Okay, here we go. It's actually good. Doesn't taste fishy at all. Done with our lunch. Now we are headed to the edge of Digby from where you can see the whole Bay of Fundy or take a ferry to New Brunswick. Wow, I'm astonished by the view, guys. It's stunning. So the water can even fill up till here and Tanish found a very interesting thing. Tanish, do you want to tell everyone about it? It's a shark egg actually. See? Yeah. It's a that's shark. That's a shark's egg. And he was able to recognize it. I wasn't believing him until he showed me the picture on Google. That's amazing guys. I don't know if it's visible on camera but behind me you can see the tides they are pretty high yeah those waves and they look quite fast as well I somehow came down here but now going uphill is going to be a task for me it was amazing visiting the mysterious Bay of Fundy and exploring the cities nearby. It has taught us a lot of things about the nature and finding shark's egg was something really spectacular. We are going to take it home because there's no baby inside, it's dead. It was on the rocks. But yeah, that's it for today's video guys. We are still going to travel in Nova Scotia now. Sorry I was breathless climbing all those rocks but as I was saying this isn't the end of our trip so please subscribe to my channel to explore Nova Scotia with us and please press the like button below if you like this video. I will see you next time. Bye!